It looks like the French delicacy foie gras, a pâté made of duck or goose liver. But no animals had to sacrifice their lives for this pâté, as it is a fake, a foie gras. It doesn't taste of torture, which is, uh, which is one of the, uh, the core ingredients of the real foie gras, and not in this one. These geese supply the liver for real foie gras, the epitome of luxury. But in order to fatten their livers, the geese are force-fed. For the so-called foie gras, on the other hand, no geese must suffer. It's made of mushrooms, lentils and seasoning. The flavours we are trying to recreate in this dish is um, what, uh, what the animal will actually uh, eat in the... Um, um, uh, around uh, 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 in, in the field around itself, so there will be a lot of um, a lot of, of, of grains, but there will be a lot of herbs as well, and so it's very uh, vegetal. To make the vegan pate resemble real foie gras, beetroot is mixed in at the end. Um, beetroot puree. The beetroot puree is really the the, the blood um, in the uh, in the preparations. So you have to be super careful not to put too much, otherwise the little girl uh, pate is pink. But uh, if you put the right amount, it becomes just like blood. For a French top chef, making do without real foie gras is almost revolutionary. Foie gras used to be a big hit in Gautier's restaurant. He sold up to 25 kilos a week. That made him a target for animal rights activists. And so he decided to look into their arguments. For me, they were just ingredients that allowed me to uh, express my, uh, my skill and my, my creativity. And, uh, and so from then I decided that I need to still be a French chef, uh, still, you know, do gastronomic food, but I need to remove all the ingredients. So we started fresh. His Michelin star has since been revoked. Nowadays he cooks and eats exclusively vegan. Restaurant critic Joe Warwick doesn't have a problem with eating less meat either. But he is very sceptical about vegan pâté. It definitely doesn't resemble foie gras. I mean, I suppose maybe in terms of the texture a little bit, but, but not, not the, not the flavour on it, not the finish on it. It hasn't got that fattiness, it hasn't got that richness. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's quite a weird thing. <laughs> Alexi Gautier is undeterred by such comments. He has become an activist. His voice is being heard at the highest political level as Britain discusses banning the import of real foie gras from France. Some gourmets find this hypocritical. This is an easy thing to do. Get rid of an elite, you know, French, foreign luxury product and say that, th that you're making a point about animal welfare. But if you really wanted to make a point about animal welfare, what you would do is address you know, the way chickens are being farmed, intensively farmed, the way pork's been intensively farmed. At his restaurant, the chef is proud to break new ground. Even without a Michelin star, he's fully booked for the next few months. So this is the... Hopefully he's going to inspire other restaurants to do the same, and most importantly, other chefs who are going to go and put their creative juice into this and come up with a, with a, a plant-based creation that uh, we cannot live without. That's good news for the ducks and geese, as well as for the restaurant critic. As long as the chefs don't try imitating real meat. But Herb Pate is fine by him. <laughs>